This is a luxury five star hotel in Turkey. And for the next seven days, we're gonna be staying here. This will be one of the best hotels you've ever seen. The hotel is called the Trendy Lara and it is an all-inclusive hotel located in Antalya, Turkey. Just to point out as well, this hotel is absolutely huge. It has got four big buildings like this. So we headed inside and checked in. You could immediately tell it was a five-star hotel. Honestly, as soon as you walk into this hotel, it just feels posh. Oh man, what an experience this is gonna be. Like, it's just got that posh atmosphere. Th there is no one about though, because um, we're all outside. The question is, what are the rooms like here? Well, let's find out. Room 1405. This is our room. Let's have a look around. This room is huge. Let's have a look around. As soon as you come into the room, you enter a bit of a corridor. That is how big the room is. And then you have got room A and also room B. So room A first, you've got a lovely little TV with this really posh marble cabinet thing. A little desk in this corner with a food menu on it because I think you can get room service. Oh, you can. Coca-Cola, two euro 50. I'm just gonna stick to the all inclusive. Yeah, just, just, just put that away. I don't know why, but they have given us a free sewing kit. Don't really know when I'm gonna sew. We've got two single beds. Of course, you've got your kettle, all your flavored teas and that. And then we move on to the bathroom. The throne, that's a beauty. A shower. And then we come into room B. This was definitely the best room I've ever stayed in. Anyway, more on that later. There was five pools at the hotel. All of them were really big. Obviously, they were surrounded by hundreds of sunbeds. And if you wanted one of them, you'd have to get up at 6 a.m. because there was a race to get them. There were so many parties when we were there. There was at least one every single day. You'll see several more throughout this video. As you can see, I was absolutely loving it. The food in the hotel is good. There is a lot of choice. However, I have gone for like the most basic meal in the world. Pasta, some blooming chicken nuggets. Eat like a child, but. And it was time for the best part of the meal, dessert. There were so many to choose from. And of course, all of them tasted great. It was then time for us to head to the second party of the day. Can someone please tell me why this guy is the DJ? To be fair to him, he was playing some bangers. There's still so much more we have to see, but first, let's head back to the room. And then we come into room B. Let's have a look. So yeah, it is quite messy, but um, yeah, we just ignore that. Double bed this time. A, um, a, a, a coffin, I guess. You've got a sofa there. We have just got a case on it at the moment. A desk. It's pretty much all the same, apart from the bathroom being slightly different. You've got a toilet in a, a little cupboard. Yeah, that, that's beautiful. Both rooms do also have balconies and we have this view. Not bad. The rooms are really good, but what makes them even better is the amount of free stuff you get. You get this robe. Jeez, I am looking good. Oh, it's falling apart. You also get slippers. What's that, like a, a party bag? Shoe polish, a shoe horn, shoe cleaner, scrubber thing for the shower, and a ton of other free products. It's by far the biggest room I've ever stayed in. So overall, it is really good. I walked into this room and I was just shocked. Almost forgot to say that there's actually a mini bar, which is completely free. That 
is something which is quite rare and we also have a doorbell which is also rare so the hotel is a bit of a distance away from the beach but they will take you there for free and they will take you there by boat it's a little bit weird so we got the boat to the beach it was about a three minute journey and i actually drove the boat and i didn't crash it which is always good and here we are just like that we are at the beach this part of the beach is completely private only guests from our hotel can come here the question is is it better than Skegness I'm not sure you could just see the hotel from the beach we were there for quite a while we went swimming in the sea it was freezing I can tell you that anyway we then headed back to the hotel and went straight into this extremely posh cafe the hotel also has its own like cafe and it's literally the poshest thing I've ever seen. You can get these really good cakes from here. There's so many different places to eat. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Looks like we're getting another pool party. They love the parties here. This one was a phone party and oh my word, there were so many people there. Honestly, after this party, you couldn't see a thing. The foam just got all in your eyes. But as you can see, I did really enjoy it. There was also some pretty decent shows on at night. <laughs> There were so many different ones. The hotel has two accommodation options. You can either stay in the normal rooms like we are, or you can stay in your own private villa with your own private pool. These villas had two floors, two bedrooms, a living room, and a kitchen. They looked incredible, but as you can imagine, they were extremely expensive. You can get a bit of a glimpse of the pool. Wow, that looks good. There was also a really big gym. Then you had a volleyball court, a football pitch, tennis courts, more football courts. It's got two pitches. The hotel even has a tattoo place where you can get tattoos. A nightclub. Yeah. Yes, there was a nightclub in the hotel and an arcade with a bowling alley inside of it. Next, it was time to have a look at the hotel shopping center. There was a sunglasses shop, mini market, photo shop, jewelry shop, and a hairdresser's. It's probably about time we check out the water park. Go on a couple of these slides. Right, let's go. Next one, the ball one. A little bit bigger, this one. Here we go. Let's go. Pick it up speed. A lot of speed. Into the ball. Jesus. Next one, this multicolored one. Pretty fast, this one. Let's go. Oh, whoa. Into the light. Ah. Having a water park in a hotel, crazy. Oh. She did not like that one. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. How much does it cost to stay here? Well, for a standard room, it will cost you £229.80 a night. And for your own villa, it will cost you £615 a night. So it's quite expensive. 